guys. Welcome to round two of Ask Me Fucking Anything. I'm Randy Bobandi, Sunnyvale Trailer Park, and I'm here to ask your questions. And here we've got one from Jake Master, 1390. Randy, in your position as Assistant Trailer Park Supervisor, what is the most fucked up situation you had to handle in the park by yourself or waiting for Leahy to help you? That's a fucking interesting question. You know, I think the, the most fucked up time that I had to handle shit when Mr. Leahy, he went to the liquor store, liquor commission, and he didn't, he was supposed to be only like five minutes, but he just friggin' went and was gone for the whole fucking night. And J Rock had this party, and I had to go down and break it up. And I went down there, took my pants off, and then the bottle kids came out and biffed about 10 or 20 fucking bottles at me. I got hit by 10 of them. Half. I was cut. I was sore. I had to call the boys in blue. Boys in blue came down. They broke the party up. And I even had to go to the hospital because I had a piece of glass lodged in my bum. So they had to take it out of my bum. I don't know how it got in there, but it even went through my tidy whitey. So that was the most fucked up time. All right. Next question is salmonella. It almost sounds like a food poisoning disease. Salmonella. Randy, can you describe your perfect breakfast? Perfect breakfast? Well, I like... I like having cheeseburgers, you know, like get your eggs, cheeseburgers, and onion rings, right? So just put an egg, like I've got three different burgers here, but I mean this, like you can see, this one here has got the bacon right there, and one little shitty strip. So if for breakfast, you could put an egg on there, a um, couple of these, these uh, onion rings, and some potatoes, like for, put them on there. For sort of like the hash brown kind of part of your burger. And that would be the perfect breakfast for me. Because then you can eat it all as one, right? You don't have to have a fork and a knife and all that stuff. It's just all your breakfast is in one concise burger. The breakfast burger. I think that they should come out with it. Breakfast burger. Okay. Um, next question, uh, is from Michelle. Randy, what was the name of the first person you ever had a crush on, and why did you like him? First person I ever had a crush on. Well, that was, that was, uh, well, I, it was like, sort of like two people. It was little Johnny and his sister, Shelly, Johnny and Shelly, and um, like they were both like they were twins, and but not identical because Johnny was a boy and Shelly was a girl, but they looked a lot the same, and you know they they were getting, they didn't have that much money, so they had like the same clothes and stuff, so I kind of got a crush on them at the same time, and I ended up uh, kissing them both and stuff and. But it was good. It was it was really nice. It was just 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 little kisses, not not deep kisses, like just little ones. That's all. So, all right, Michelle, there you go. Um, here's one from Stomach Worm. Ooh, that sounds gross. Stomach Worm. Yeah. Randy, if one wanted to start hooking for cheeseburgers, where's the best location? That actually very very good location. That's a good question, Stomach Worm. Um, you got to find a corner, and you got to make sure that. You, it's like downtown, like a busy section, right? The, you know, the four P's of marketing, product, place, promotion, and price. You got to have the place, which is the corner. If you don't have the place, like if you're standing in the woods, you're getting shit. You're not going to be able to get any cheeseburgers. You're going to be friggin' hungry a long time. But if you got the right place, the right corner, and the traffic going by, usually truckers, truckers are good. Truckers, they like to talk. They like to do, like, they, they need massages because of driving. Like, it hits you right here, right? So a little massage and trucker be asleep two minutes. So you, you pick a truck route maybe on a good corner. And uh, and then you got to make sure that you're wearing a nice outfit. Like, you know, I wear a red dress, which is nice. So that's, you know, that's your problem, the product in this case. And you can make sure your product is good and if you just charge, you know, a couple cheeseburgers and they happen to be on sale at the truck stop right next door, you're guaranteed to to probably get, you know, like two cheeseburgers and this. That that's what'll get you what you want there, stomach worm. Good luck to you. 
you know I don't know if you got blue eyes wear a blue dress because it'll bring out your eyes and that'll be nice okay all right this is Wibble Wobble. We only got like two questions left. Is that, you got enough time? Yeah. Two questions. Quick. Wibble Wobble. Um, when did you start going topless? Did you wear a shirt during school? Well, Wibble Wobble, that's a good question. I don't wear shirts. I don't like shirts. I, I wore one once. I turned green. Um, when I was doing some wrestling, I looked like the Incredible Hulk. And I mean, really, it all started back when I was uh, four years old, when I was in preschool. Um... I went to school and I didn't wear a shirt because like, it was still hot. And then the bitchy friggin' preschool uh, teacher, Miss Williams, said, Randy, you got to go wear a shirt. And I said, well, Miss Williams, I don't like shirts. Frig off. And, and then I, she just sent me home and I had to get my, I put a shirt on. And when I put the shirt on, it was like a blue shirt. And it was like, it had, it was, I think it was, you know, like a superhero or something. And I wore it. And I turn blue. Like it's the, the dyes fuck with me because um I I sweat or something too much and maybe my sweat's got too high a pH or I don't know why. I mean it's just weird. Like I can wear pants, my legs don't turn white, but my shirt I'll often change color like a chameleon. So probably started right back in, in preschool there. Wibble wobble. Alright. The last question, man. Last fucking one. Jeez, man. These questions make you hungry, man. Look at sweet and sour sauce on French fries is pretty good, actually. Um, Jonathan Boyd, do you, do you ever see you, and that's a lot of yous, do you ever see you, well, it's two, and Mr. Lay tying the knot? Getting married, eh? Well, I don't know. I mean... That's a big commitment, you know. It's, uh, I mean, I don't know if you have to be tied to be happy. I mean, you can. It could be fun. But, who knows, man. Life is like a, it's like a cheat day. Some days you can cheat and eat what you want. Other days you gotta eat healthy food so you can maintain a body like mine. And be fit. So maybe someday we might tie the knot. Maybe we'll tie it in a bow so you can untie the knot. Maybe maybe we'll go to the moon someday. We don't friggin' know, Jonathan. So who the hell knows? Maybe. All right. Well, uh, thanks a lot for sending in and asking me questions. This was kind of fun. So this is uh, Randy Bobandy signing off. Thank you.